This video is brought to you by Dbrand. Do yourself a favor, if you're ever offered a helicopter ride, you say yes. So Samsung is calling their new Galaxy S10 their pro-grade camera, that it's capable of seeing what your eyes can see. To that I say, there's really only one way to find out, and uh, we've got a helicopter ride to prove it. I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now from Barcelona, MWC 2019. Let's go check it out. So Samsung was nice enough to offer a helicopter ride to Montserrat. And uh, well, I have never been on a helicopter ride or to Montserrat. And I think this is the best way to showcase what this camera can do. But keep in mind, this is not a full review. It's just our experience so far. This is a beautiful place called Campo Nastre. We are literally 45 minutes from Barcelona, 45 minutes from Montserrat. This is the midpoint. We're gonna take a bus from here up. Oh my God, I did so much video and photography testing right now. Dynamic range has improved dramatically. It's been the big Achilles heel with Android phones, and my God, the Galaxy S10 Plus does amazing. And yeah, that super steady shot, that's even better. Yes, this place is real. And I don't know if you've noticed this, but I've pretty much recorded most of the B-roll of this trip on the Galaxy S10. It's just the way this camera handles color. It, it's Yes, it is very warm, but it's just the, the color reproduction and dynamic range is just so good. And this place is flat out gorgeous. So one of the most interesting things about using the Galaxy S10 Plus for video is the super steady shot mainly because it uses the wide angle camera instead of the primary usually if you use any phone for video what it'll do is crop in this phone actually crops out for it and i find that to be genius because it's pretty much like pulling a gopro it uses that extra space to be able to stabilize the shot and it does a very good job i really like it though one of the things is it is currently limited to 1080p so even if you set the camera to record in 4k it'll switch back to 1080p the moment you turn on the stabilizer My name is Esteva. I'm going to be the guide. Uh, we don't have much time, but we'll try to see everything in Montserrat. Okay? Great, thank you. Uh, now we are here on that square, more or less in the middle of the natural park. It's 720 meters above the sea level. And then from here we see most of the buildings of Montserrat and one of the buildings that we'll visit. The first one is the church. We'll mm -hmm. go there and we'll visit the church. Okay, in the church is where is the Black Madonna. Oh. The next building, the one with the balconies, is where the monks live, the monastery. And the monastery was founded in 1025, so we are near to celebrate the millennium. Wow. And one of the coolest parts about the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus is the versatility in the amount of cameras that you get in the package. Specifications are definitely key here. We have a 12 megapixel primary camera at variable aperture between f1.5 and f2.4 a wide-angle camera at 16 megapixels with f2.2 aperture and 123 degrees of field of view, and then we've got a 12 megapixel telephoto camera at f2.4 aperture. And software has also seen some major improvements. We've got a better user interface. I consider it to be more practical. I love how it navigates between cameras. You also have 10 new scenes in AI, which totals now 30. So definitely the camera does a better job at adapting to whatever scene you throw at it.
All right, we've talked about the hardware, we've talked about the software. How are the photos? In a word, all right, this is fantastic. It's versatile, it's practical, it's really, really adaptable in about every situation that we've thrown at it here. And low-light photography has seen some improvements. I feel that Samsung has made some positive changes when compared to the S9 Plus. I feel that it handles moving subjects a little better. There's still more work to be done here, but highlights are great and colors are just really good. Obviously, we need more time to test this phone. Our full review will provide more details on other features, like for example, slow-mo video, etc. As I actually did film some slow-mo clips and for some reason I'm having issues pulling them into my computer. And then I do notice some improvements in portrait photography Live photos now looks more natural than its predecessors, and obviously you have the advantage that you could just switch that off if you don't like the result. And then you've got a very interesting case with selfie photos where Samsung is offering two angles, but they're actually from the same camera. One is just a crop. For those of you that want a wider shot or a tighter shot, you can pick from either. I do love the performance. I do feel that this 10 megapixel camera at the front is doing far better than its predecessor. I've heard a lot of people question the purpose of a telephoto camera on a smartphone. Street photography. Don't think of it just as a zoom lens. Think about the fact that it gives you a better crop in certain situations where you're actually looking for detail from afar, instead of having to zoom in digitally and not necessarily getting that same amount of quality. I seriously love the fact that Samsung made the move for the wide angle, and the coolest part, it doesn't matter what Galaxy S10 you get, whether it's the S10e, S10, or S10+, Plus, the wide angle is included in all of them. It provides such an epic view of your shot. If you're in a place like this and you want to get the whole shot in one photo, the only way is to use the ultra-wide, man, and the company does a really good job at avoiding distortion. Obviously, I know that a lot of you are not fans of AI photography. You can switch this off, and there is also Pro Mode available. Actually, I'm shocked at the amount of modes available on this phone. Again, it just makes the experience a lot more practical. I think the best way to describe this camera overall is versatile, seriously. And speaking of versatility, our Samsung Galaxy S10 coverage is made possible by dbrand. If you want to avoid those fingerprint smudges and pimp out your new Galaxy S10 Plus, dbrand's new Swarm Skin is fantastic. And of course, that's just one of many options they have available to cater to your taste. Follow the link in the description below to choose the skin that matches your style most. So remember, two very important things. If you ever offered a trip in a chopper, you take it. And if you're ever offered to come to Montserrat, do it as well. Even if you're not religious, this is such a beautiful place. Definitely one of my top 10 places that I've visited. And the experience with the Galaxy S10 has been fantastic so far. Let us know what you think about the photos and the video in the comments down below. While you're at it, make sure you follow us on social media. Subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. Follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.